<laughs> okay, welcome everyone. This is Jackie G and Jackie P. We are your Jackies and we are here to bring you what we call the Jaffra GPS. I'm going to tell you something. We started with formulas and recipes in the month of January, and we're going to keep that moving all year. But we know during a trip, you work harder during those four months than maybe you do some of the other months. So we're here to give you, when you get in your car, how do you get there? When you get to the airport, how do you get to Hilton Head Island? So we're going to take us through a little trip tour. What roads do we have to take? What's the best highway? Where should I stop to get gas very quickly? Because the time of a trip, oops, sorry, excuse me, this thing's clicking off on its own. I got a, a wild mouse. You know, it was good cheese today. So bear with me <laughs> while I bring myself back. This thing's got its own mind of its own today. So today uh, we're going to take you to what we call GPS. What does GPS stand for? G, these are things you must do, okay, to earn a trip. You can do it your way, but to get down the highway to Hilton Head Island, these are highly recommended in today's 2024 business model. The first one is G, that is get social. You have to have a little balance on online and in person today. If you don't believe us, Listen to the fabulous Marketing Monday we had yesterday with Stephen Dutzman. Yes, that's Nancy Dutzman's son. I know she's here. Um, he did just amazing, but he talked about why you must build a brand in 2024 and not let fear stop you and technology. So we're, we're going to not really talk about it. I'm just going to reference you back to it because it's all there for you on how to get yourself social. Number two. Today, we want to talk a little bit about parties and prospecting, and then the S is sponsoring and service, doing good customer service. We'll get as far as we get. Jackie and I will be using these same concepts. We're launching it for everybody today but and at our tours, but we're going to work on this all of the weeks of Trip 2024, okay? So you're going to see repeat, repeat. But if you follow the business model and do these by the end of the next four months, look out, you'll be moving up, you'll be earning it all. And you're gonna have any personal check that you care to write to the boss come true because these are the basics to the business. So here's what we're gonna start with just to kick this off. A reminder, we're not going to go through a lot of trip information, okay? We're gonna give you the recipe that aligns to the numbers. So. First of all, every hour counts. So when you look at your life every single morning when you wake up, every week between now, I think we've got 12 weeks left, maybe 13 weeks left, you want to manage your hours because the trip started February 1st and you had the bonus of January. But to get to May 31st or June 1st when you wake up and you know if your, your plane ticket's going to arrive or not, you've got 2,352 hours and every hour counts. The time before, from now until when we're together, February 1st to September 15th is 5,110 hours. You got plenty of time to pack, but we got to pack our hours doing the behaviors of the business. So this is our Hilton Head trip 2024. Beautiful, beautiful place. I know some of you are from the Carolinas area or have been there before. If you want to put in the chat, why do you love Hilton Head Island? Jackie and I are like, oh my gosh. This is right now one of the top destinations. I'm gonna take you through an easy way to look at this chart. You need to go in and make sure you've downloaded the 2024 trip brochure. It's in Jaffa Biz. You can click on the banner if you want, find the trip banner, click on it. You can download it right there, find it. You want to know it every single day and divide it out by the number of days you're willing to work and know the key actions of the day. So I'm gonna do this quick because there's a training tomorrow. You don't need Jackie and I to do a lot. So here we go. I'm going to just pretend you're a consultant. If you're a consultant out there, step one, you must be a manager. Step two, you and your team must have collectively a growth base and your personal sales. By the way, go into your reports, managers and above. If you're manager and above, because you have to be a manager and above to earn this trip. Guess what? Your numbers are in your email. We sent them to you personally. And you have your trip tracker already in Jeff for Biz. So here's the dealio. 
If you're a consultant or you're a manager who didn't average $4,000 a month last year, then your base is 16,000 team sales. That includes yours, all your teams, and add 6,000 to it. That's 22 grand, okay? You need 22,000 team sales, Feb 1, May 31st. You need eight sponsors in your team, four must be by you. That's land, and you can see there's more for air. I am staying simple. If you have a different title, you know how to do it. You have to have this base, or if you beat that, whatever number is in your report from last year, you got to hit that base, and then you got to grow. Then you got a sponsor, and everybody is four by you if you are a manager. Okay, consultants, everything you're doing in February, and you're not a titled manager yet, does count towards your team sales, personal, and team sponsoring, okay? Keynote, all right, I'm gonna keep it that simple because we just wanna say, how do I be a manager again, Jackie? You can qualify February, March, April, or May, but you might wanna do it in February, in the next two weeks, because the more people on your team, the more yep. sales you will have, okay? You can't, you could, you could be selling 22,000. But here's the deal. You need a team. So the team together, everybody does it and takes a piece of the pie. Together, we achieve more. That's what team stands for. How do I be a manager? You need $300 in sales in one month. We know 400 is the answer, but there it is. You need four consultants you sponsored to all have 300 or more. If they sponsor anyone else, Coolio, they count for your total team sales. So uno, dos, trace. You are now earning 11% commission and you wake up a manager and you are now entered into the pool of potentially earning the trip. Okay, the reason I'm not gonna answer a lot of questions, Jackie and I already did a couple of recordings about the trip, okay? So we did this on Marketing Monday um, already, the first Marketing Monday of the month, but tomorrow, mark your calendars, February 14th at 11 a.m. Pacific, adjust to your zone. We're gonna be using where you go to your business meeting every month, join us, for your team who created the trip, they will answer every question. And the best part, the best part is in February only, two QNCs count as one. So if you need eight for the trip, if you do four, it counts as eight. I'm going to say that's great, but I'm going to pause you because eight people selling Jafra, let's say eight people had $1,000 for their free shipping this month, you'd have 8,000 in retail. If I only had four who did it, but they counted for eight, I only have 4,000. So productivity, the volume is why you build more people. Okay, so next, we're gonna be talking about Jumpstart. So I'm gonna have Jack give the recipe in just a couple of minutes, but there's a few things that will make this trip work. Because if you see 22,000 and that feels freaky, this is how you get over the freaky. It's helping people earn everything on the table. So I'm gonna do this very easy. For every four new consultants you have a month, let's say you sponsor two and everybody joins with their bestie. There's four, okay? Four on your team. If all four, all you do with each of them is say, I'm going to help you join with a friend, earn more gifts and incentives by growing consultants, and they can earn more commission, but I'm also going to help you make sure you don't leave Jumpstart on the table. This is a once in a lifetime consultant program. So we help them do 400 or more every month starting the month they join, okay? When that happens, watch this. If you had four in February, they're 1,600. You have four new in March, they're 1,600. But the four from February are gonna be in month two earning their almond oil, so we can add that together, there's 3,200. In April, I'm gonna have four more, that's 1,600. They're all in month one. I'm gonna have four in month two from my March sponsors. I'm gonna have four in month three from my February sponsors. Ooh, add that up for April. Look what I have, 4,800. Then in May, I'm going to have four new ones. You got the gig, 1,600. I have four in month two from last month, four in month three from the month of March, and four in month four, they're going to VIP from February. Total that up, I'm at 6,400 in May from my team sponsors. Then I am going to have $400 weeks, not months, okay? You have to do more to be in a trip. So you're going to sell 400 a week. You add that to all these months. And guess what you have? $22,000. It works out. So I'm going to just keep it simple. So to do that, I want you to think about this. Jackie and I did the math. 
If you have 22,000 team sales at 11,000 or 11%, it averages about a $300 team commission check. If you sell $400 to $800, you're hosting one to two events a week, you could make up to $1,600 a month. What would you do? How would you spend up to $1,900 income? It isn't just the trip. It isn't just the fun. It isn't just the friendships. It's all about what else it does for your business and the business income that the boss is working for, for your family. What will you spend it on? What is it for? So this recipe could net you that if you follow along the starfish. It starts with goals. You have to have them today and decide. Then you make a plan and then you take action. So it begins with planning your calendar. I'm going to give you a couple of tools you got to be using. And then we're going to come back to the audience and then Jackie's going to take us to the five-star recipe. So here we go. We want to be focused on events, right? Hosting two events a week will net you at least one because people rebook, things happen. Maybe we had a, an event that didn't have a lot of sales. So you want to host a couple of events. Jackie and I are going to take you through what is an event today. So you want to block out. This is a 30-day calendar. What days will you host them? Where, with who, and when? Second, where are you going to invite consultants who are interested in Jafra? You want to have that ready. Next, what days are you going social? What are your posting days? What days are you live? Got to have a plan. Listen to Stephen. Next, you're going to need power hours. So when you're going to host time that you are power calling, and you'll see what that recipe is. And who's your buddy? You need a partner who's going to hold you accountable to brainstorm with, to track with. So the time is now. You got to decide. Am I doing it? Yes or no. There isn't a try. It's a will. You got to designate time in your calendar to work. And then you've got to do it. There's one thing I read or and I, I listen to. Jackie and I are podcastaholics. We love listening to them. And there's one thing that's always been weaved in everything. And it used to be, if you ever followed our 66 conversations, 67 conversations, it's having three to five contacts a day, phone calls, conversations with people. So begin with your goals, write them down, and then plan to do it. So Jackie, I'm going to come to you. I think I lost one of our stars. I did, but that's okay. We I'm going to come to you, somewhere. Jackie. Yeah. So Jack, you're going to help us with the power hour. And what that looks like, we're going to go to just a couple of tools before we go back to the Beach Achievers last year. Take it away, Jack. All right. So you guys, do you know what a power hour is? I mean, of course you do. So I think that a great way to get working, not just toward the trip, but to writing yourself a check, right, <laughs> is getting focused with our quality of time. Okay. So when I think of a power hour, I think of quality time with my business. Okay. So you can do any number of activities during your power hour, as long as you are intentional and you come to work with everything that you need. Right. So taking the time to host his coach, book new parties, follow up with leads, work with your team, work with your new consultants, work them through jumpstart. And getting with your customers and giving them that top-notch client care that I know that all of you give, right? Any of those tasks are great to fill in your power hour. Um, you can also do power half hours or power quarter hours. Um, Jaffer needs to fit where it fits in the nooks and crannies of your life right? If you're saying that you don't have time, but you're in a doom scroll on your phone for 45 minutes, um, when you could be committing to some type of work, then you need to focus, right? And have the time that you can work booked intentionally, right? So when I'm sitting in car pickup line, if I have my cell phone and my planner, I can do the work, right? So my ultimate tool for getting through um, hosts, for getting some new sponsors on the books, 
for getting new customers in my funnel is working through my Jaffa 100 list, right? So we are going J-A-F-R-A with all of the prompts um, to think of new people, like a memory jogger. So J stands for jobs, people who work with you, who work with your partner, who work with your kids even, people from work-related uh, connections. The A is acquaintances, people who you know from the world, but you don't like know, know them. Um, get to know them better. Have a party with them. Ask them what they like to do for their self-care. Give them the Jafra opportunity as a way also for y'all to get closer. Um, family. So these are the people, friends and family, the people who have to love you. Um, offering to them is always an option, even when they don't always ask for information, right? So practice on your family, practice on your friends who, guys, no one's going to say that they don't love you anymore just because you asked them to host a party or because you asked them to join your team. It's okay. These are people who are safe to practice on. Um, referrals. So people buy from people who they like, know, and trust, right? You get street cred with your friend's friends when your friend says, hey, this is Debbie. She's cool. And I think you would love what she has to offer. Um, so ask for referrals. Tap your network because you never know when your friend has just met someone new who would be perfect for your Jaffa team. And finally, activities. So for me, that means people that I talk to on the bleachers at the hockey rink and people who I talk to at the soccer field, but it can also mean folks who I'm in a garden club with or folks that I have a, a book club with or folks that I knit with on Sunday mornings. Um, it can be from any activity that you do as a hobby or that your family does, somebody that is in your sphere of, uh, of influence through those kind of activities. And then the key, y'all, is to not prejudge anybody because you don't know what they want. Um, I always say, don't steal other people's blessings because you're too afraid to ask. You don't know who's ready to receive Jaffra. So don't prejudge and just go for it, right? That's right. And Jaffa, even in your trip brochure, has your tracker. So this is key to set the goals, make a plan, take action, and track it. And in Jaffa Biz, again, it's there. You can see yourself tracking towards it. So I believe I'm trying to find my cute little dude, and I can't find him. It's okay. We'll come he back to the rest found. of it. He's hiding. No, our starfish is hiding. Jackie hid the slide. It's okay. So again. We want to remind you on getting social, okay? So we're going to go get social with the audience here that was in Hawaii last year really quick, and we're going to hear their top tips. But I'm going to start with the G of the GPS. It's called getting social, and that's this. Remember, go into YouTube if you want to find everything easy. This was our training on Marketing Monday. So go to our regional YouTube is Jackie Geisinger on YouTube. You can find the Marketing Monday and it talks about the love of technology and why it's so important to be socially out there and tools to make your life easier. Remember, we also have a social calendar for you, right? So, oh, I probably grabbed the regular calendar. It's okay. We have a social calendar. If you go into calendars under guide number one, you will find that there. And every Marketing Monday, we give you social ideas, okay? So we want you to make sure you're getting social. We're going to go back and get social with our audience. Okay, who was in Hawaii in 2023? Okay, we want open mic, and we want to hear in 30 seconds, if you think back to how you built that business last year to be a trip achiever, what were one or two of your top activities that you stayed focused on, like the big rocks that helped you earn that trip? Okay, who wants to go? Don't make me pick because I will. How did you spend your time? What did you do that helped you earn the trip? Pat Clover, I saw you unmute. Go, sweet peak. I was trying to wait for somebody else, but uh, I'll go. <laughs> uh, well, um, hello, everybody. I first want to say that um, it certainly was exciting to be in Hawaii last year. And I appreciate the company 
And that's why I want to say for me, it was consistency. And the consistency was based on the company programs. If we work the company programs properly and consistently, then the programs will work for us. And that's how I won the, the trip. And that was sponsoring, recruiting, get that out of your way first, take advantage of the double, the double, double dip and be effective, become an effective recruiter. And when I say that is learn, uh, um, self-educate and use Jaffa, learn, learn what it means to recruit and go for it. Because if you recruit, the money's going to come that you're going to need. So recruit, think about yeah. being like recruiting as being a good friend to someone, being a good parent to someone, being a good neighbor to someone, and then um, stick with it. So if you care and if you want to help others, you'll share the business with everyone and you will recruit. And last thing I'll say is make sure you track your and keep and know your numbers day by day by day. And, and um, share with everyone that comes within uh, shaking hands. I mean, if you shake somebody's hand, tell them about Jaffra. I love it. Yeah. What's that called? Three-foot rule? Right? Three Three-foot rule. Three-foot rule. Three rule. <laughs> we love it. Yeah. So thank yeah. you, Pat Clover. Appreciate it. Okay. Another no Hawaii hinter. What do we got going on? Oh, yeah. I'll go. Uh, I'll have Debbie and then I'll go to Cheryl. Thank you so much. Well, I was so thrilled to be there with both Cheryl and, and Pat. Uh, Focus, being focused. First of all, making the decision to do it. It was a non-negotiable. It was happening because Montana was between here and Hawaii, and I was going to Montana. So that was that was a done deal. Um, the double sponsoring really helped. I was because the numbers gave me cardiac arrest, but when they doubled the sponsoring, I said, "Okay, this can be doable." So then I got, had the confidence and just stayed focused the whole time. Like Pat said, morning, noon, and night. You got to know your numbers. You're checking on them every every day. And teamwork, you can't do it by yourself. You have to have your team because obviously you can't come up with all that money. And the team really rallied and we stayed focused and had team time every week. And they were just great. Um, I got the best team. I'm sorry. I've got the best team in the country because they are just loyal and they're always there. The VIPs, they're, even if they're not VIPs, they're VIP wannabes and they're always there. And so that helps. But having sponsored early, the cash in from the first people rolled into the next month and the next month, and it just keeps building on itself. So you can't wait till the last minute. You have to do it early. And I did. And for the first time in my life, I earned a trip uh, about a week or two before the trip uh, qualifications ended. So yeah. that was a shocker. So it, <laughs> it was a big break. But you got to do it. You got to you got to be motivated and stay focused and. Hawaii, that was my fourth trip to Hawaii, and I hope to go back again because it's just, it's addictive. It's so wonderful, beautiful. It's wonderful. paradise. Great tips. Thank you so much, Debbie. All right, Cheryl, what's your tips? Well, first of all, I just want to reiterate what Pat and Debbie said because those are key things to doing it and using a few different words to say the same thing. It's belief. You've got to be able to see it. You've got to know that you can do it. I mean, you've got to you've got to see the end of the tunnel and really believe that you can get there. That's number one. Um, number two, as Debbie said, you got to track. You got to know where you are. You've got to really figure out how you're going to get there. Um, and three, I think it's communication. And, and that's exactly what Debbie said. It's exactly what Pat said. But just in one simple word, you've got to communicate with the people on your team and share with them the, the, the belief that you can do it. And, um, and I read something the other day that said that leadership is belief and it's sharing that belief. Yeah. And, and, and I think that that's really what it is is it's just it's just believing you can make it happen and sharing that belief that you can make it happen and then it happens excellent well and i love something earlier that belinda carr said um she said you know i really listen to my customers and what they need mm -hmm. yeah. and 
again, inviting them through questions and service to hear what their needs are and then fill it, be it product, be it opportunity. So excellent. I'm going to just pick Jack. Do you care if I pick someone? Gosh, I'd love it when you pick. Get bossy. So, because Jackie's usually the picker, but I'm going to take the picking over tonight. So I am going to point at, and she can't see where I'm pointing, but Miss Dia Collins, can I have you on mute? Yes, Dia. <laughs> you. So, Dia, we you. got to watch you. We got to watch you last year. Um, mm -hmm. How many trips have you been on? Two. One okay. in Vancouver back in the 90s and Hawaii. And so we saw you completely take control. You named it, you claimed it. And we saw you do a lot of different activities, getting in front of people. What were some of your magical recipes? Like, what did you do in actions last year? We could say it, but we want to hear from you, how you put your mindset to it. What did you do? Yeah, well, I wasn't having parties. I was doing personals, but I turned a lot of those personals into consultants. And But I said, if I'm not, I can't wait for people to call me. So I said, I'm going to get out there. So I started doing networking. I joined um, some open networking groups through one was through the chamber. And then I also did um, some tabletops at the bank, at the credit union, at the gym, you know, a few fairs here and there just to, that was the only way I had control over my business to take control and go out there. And I met and people that I normally wouldn't have met. You did. And you did it incredible. She was posting nonstop weekly from tabletops to personals mm -hmm. to bringing a friend to a personal. It just kept going. And it seemed honestly, Dia, like seamlessly simple for you. No, it wasn't. And I want you to know. <laughs> I love that. I love your head. <laughs> because for me, it was my mindset changed. And my mindset actually had changed probably a year before I started treating my business more like a business. And um, having a business mindset is just a whole different thing. And so when things don't go right, you say, well, I'm a business person. What do I do? You can sit home and moan and groan, or you can take control. So, but Jaffer's uh, programs, I think, like like Pat said, were just um, amazing. They, you know, they did, they gave us a couple of little helping hands along the way with the bonus um, sponsoring and the bonus sales and, and the specials they had during that time were amazing. So like Cheryl said, as long as you're communicating with everybody about those specials, then, you know, hopefully they'll order them. <laughs> so, but it was really, mindset was the big, the big change for me. Awesome. So. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you for sharing because the most important thing we say is decide, believe, and shift that mindset. Say, I'm going, wear your flip-flops around your house, put on your swimsuit if you need to, if you like to look in the mirror at that, up to y'all. <laughs> but I'm just saying, oh. you gotta go, right? <laughs> so let's go Gen Market. Okay, let's come back. I think we have in here, if Jackie can find your starfish, Along with the Getting Social, we have a couple of documents that Jackie and I have put together, similar to what Stephen was talking about. Do you know everything Jaffer has? And do you know everything free? You want to pack your bags with all the tool and technology you need to get driving down the speeding highway. Keep it simple, work smart, but work effective. And so we've got these tools. You can take a look at them. They're one by one. A lot of them Stephen trained on on Monday, and these are all of the tools in Jaffra Biz and even our Bitly's that you can be utilizing to help attract new people. So we're gonna kick this into the P of the GPS. This is Jackie and my favorites, and that is called parties. We are party girls. Jackie always says she loves to drive a party bus. So Jack, here's the starfish of our recipe. You ready? Launch it for us, girl. All right, y'all, as your party bus driver today, get in. Here's how we're going to do this, okay? We're going to focus on the twos. We're going to have two events per week. We'll talk about what events are. I don't care what event it is, but we're going to have two of them every week, okay? And then at every event that we have, we're going to book two. So we keep our calendar nice and full and fat so we don't have to panic about where our next event's going to be, okay? We're going to focus on having two direct QNCs every month. 
look, if you want to do more than that, I think you should. I think that would be great. But two is our bare minimum is what we owe ourselves for our business, right? And because joining with a friend is so much more awesome, we're going to encourage two indirect QNCs, okay? And how much do two QNCs count for in, in this month in February? Four. So keep that in your mind, okay? So two indirect QNCs, two direct QNCs, two events per week, two bookings at every event. And then the magic sauce of it all, the thing that holds it all together, we're going to do our two plus two plus two follow-up method. If you know, if you don't know what that is, listen, listen close. After two days, after your client gets their order or you warmed somebody up with a sponsoring conversation, you're going to follow up with them and you're going to have another conversation. Okay. Two days. And then two weeks later, after your client got their order and they should be in the mix using it, you're going to follow up with them and you're going to say, Hey, are you loving your products that you got two weeks ago? I sure hope so. If you have any questions on how to use anything, I'm right here. Okay. And then in two months, you're going to follow up again and you're going to say, friends don't let friends run out of their skincare or their almond scrub. Um, so I want to follow up with you and make sure that um, you order again before you hit empty. And that is the perfect um, sequence to customer care every single time. Two plus two plus two. Hey, that's right. So to pack your bags, you always want to be ready, right? Mm -hmm. Whether you're doing a tabletop like Dia talked about, whether you're hosting parties, whatever you do, these are some of the magical tools. We already showed you the hundred list, right? Critical. Every day you have to have your list ready because you have to know who you're going to call and follow up to or contact. Your client order form is super important because it's how we serve them to what they want when we're taking those orders at those events. Your party planner, super important. And are you always traveling with kit flyers in hand and your QR codes or whatever you use, link trees to your website? You want to make sure that as you bring in new team members, you and your manager, if you're currently a consultant, are utilizing the 24-hour checklist, the new consultant guide. And you got to know the hostess program inside and out and use this as the wish list and the wish book for your hostess. These are the top tools that we know will help you earn this. We can say this, those hours that those five starfish equivalent to about 15 hours a week. If you can do things faster and in less time, you could do it in 10. But it's really just blocking out a couple of hours for follow-up. It's going to take every event is about two hours, sometimes more, sometimes less, because it depends what it is. So if you just add two to three hours to all of the five steps to the starfish every week and block time to do them, there's your GPS. So that's setting goals, making plans, and taking action. But I want to turn back to Jack. Awesome. This is from your AI chat GPT. Why and what causes people to have a gathering that they would love us as Jaffer peeps to come in and provide some entertainment, some fun, and some reasons people get together? Jack, I'm going to let you do the quick list here and tell us why people get together. But wait, as she's doing it. On your paper, who's popping to mind as she's reading this to you? Who pops to mind and why would they want to get together or what event could you create to gather people together? Okay, Jack, take it away in your fast list. So as your party bus driver, I need no excuse to party. But if you need an excuse, um, we love catching up with our friends. We love birthday, anniversary, special occasion, celebration parties. We love de-stressing with our girlfriends, right? We love hanging out and having a big laugh and doing masks and being ridiculous. We also love organization networking. So if you have a doctor's office or a business that you want to set up in, that's that's a party too, right? Um, hobby clubs, like we were talking about earlier with your book club or whether you crochet with a bunch of friends on a Sunday morning, that's a party too. Um, if you have a friend who wants to shower another friend with gratitude, that's a party too. You need to fundraise for an organization. I bet you could have a party and make some money for that organization that you're working for. Um, customer and client appreciation at businesses is a big 
reason to party, okay? Getting to know your neighbors, invite them over to an open house, have a neighbor, neighborhood block party. Um, you could have a snowed in party uh, up here in the Northeast sometime, <laughs> right? You right. could have <laughs> exclusive party or exclusive product experiences. Like if you got a new product in and you wanna share it with everybody, you could absolutely have an exclusive par uh, product experience at your house. Um, sharing self-care with friends, get ready with me's, have brunch together and do a beauty bar while you're there. Um, have a retreat with your church friends, have a retreat with your work friends. Um, share with all of your Royal Jelly clients, with all of your revitalized clients, have everybody over to experience it together. Um, and remember, guys, hosts get the biggest discount out there. 67% plus for hosts is the best deal out there. So having a host to every party is key. That's right. So keep your list going. We're going to come back and hear what types of events you're going to plan. Get your blank calendar in the next 30 days. That means 10 events to a week. So what would be your 10? Make your list of 10. Who, where, when, and what will you be doing to have enough events? Okay? So I'm going to take you through what Jackie talked about. The deepest discounts for anybody who is not a Jaffa consultant and even a Jaffa consultant is your hostess program. We just did a meeting in California and no one felt comfortable standing up and training on the host program. That's okay. We don't mean anything by that. But we want to just say, until we all know it, show it, and sell it, it could be your gap of why you're not booking parties. Because this is, in this economy, the reason. So I'm going to do a quick view. And we'll come back with any questions. Um, and then we want to hear your buckets of ideas of events. But first, they get a $37 free gift. So if you have anybody who's ever bought the Pearl Cleanser or the Revitalized Volcanic Mask, my favorite. I don't go a day without it. Don't ever sell it. Book them. They get that free. That's 37 bucks. That's money to people. So we're here to save them money. Next, when they have a $300 party, if you are selling revitalized to anybody, a Royal Jelly Advanced Balm, sorry, do not take their money. Just say, but wait, what if I could save you $55? Are you kidding? They would pay 81 we give it to them for $27, host only. That's ridiculous. That's insane. That's 67% off, like Jackie said. Now, if they go to a $400 party, which is your job to help them plan their event to go to the top, then look at this. It's at 57% off. They get two items here. So again, they could save, they could be getting their favorite products like Royal Jelly Lift for $22. So if you have anybody who buys any of these products, stop. They can really get them for up to 58% off. They get two here and one here. Plus their free gift. They're getting four products for 27 plus 45. Are you kidding? That's less than this, okay? <laughs> so let's get to level three, baby. We're going to 500. It's just two more alm bonus almond oils and you're at 500 now. They're going to get three products. 70% off. This is my ding ding. I love a 70. So here we go. Body complex. I know you all have people who love body butter, baby. So you got to book them. Do not be selling it. Look at this 18 bucks for these products. The revitalized toner. Are you kidding? Can't go a day without it. Body complex or all jelly lift again. Any of your serums or if they are fragrance people. Awesome. 70% off. They're paying $18 each at a $500 party. They have three two, one, and a freebie. They are now, again, at, what are we at? Seven products. So this is so important that you know what they get. But wait, my favorite, I don't go a day without Defy. I am a Defy Freakazoid. So what do we have? We've got three Defy products at 20 each. Don't you ever sell Defy. You book them. You have them find a way to do a party. We want to talk about those ways in a minute. Again, $20 each with a $600 party. For you, $300 profit, but there's more, okay? People always say, oh, I wish we had a hostess program or a hostess set. Are you kidding? You have the greatest hostess set in the world. I picked all my favorites. I put them into a bundle, and this is what I would show at a party. Why? Look at this. 
$603. I picked all my favorites at every level. Okay. Put them in a picture. This would be my placemat. You know, the old, the old days, right? Cost 189. They save 414, 69% off with a $600 party. But wait, there's more. This month, they get five more items at, again, huge discounts. This is incredible. That's 15 items, and they're spending, I don't know, about $250, $260. Trust me, they're only getting maybe a Defy bundle if they just went shopping and maybe something else, a lotion. No, give them this hostess offer 15 products. That is an average of 69% off. So there's more for you. That's what's in it for them. It's magically amazing discounts. But when you have them buy the host offers, and I'm just doing all four levels we have, okay? They You have 66 extra dollars commission. You go back to the other two here, there's an additional $21 and $15, okay? That's 36 more dollars. It's over $100 extra profit, okay? Because you're spending $9 on their party gift. It's all you put in. You're spending more mailing a brochure out, okay? I'm telling you, book a party. I want somebody who brings me 30 people. But look at you make $7 on level one, $20 on level two, $22 on level three, and I just showed you, again, over $30 more profit with the new offers this month only. And they're all our top selling products. So we say to you all, wait. Again, here's 26. Sorry. Just wait. There's so much more for you and others. And people who get together, like Jackie said, the number one thing this year you will see, Stephen even talked about it, is getting together with people socializing, reconnecting, loving on each other. And in a month of love, how many parties could you host yourself? Let's love different groups of people. So I'm going to go to Jackie and then we're going to come back to you all. But what is a weekly event? Jackie, take us through what classifies as a weekly event, please. I promised that I would tell you. So here we are. Okay. <laughs> you can make anything an event. Here are just some ideas. You can have obviously an in-person party, old school style, trek into somebody's house and blow their minds, right? But you can also do it virtually. You can do a Facebook party. You can do virtual skincare consults and makeup try-ons. You can do two personals. Let's count two personals as one party. I hear that's what Jan used to say, and I'm down with anything that Jan was down with, right? Um, you could do a Zoom party. You could do a text party. You could do a basket party or a catalog party or a book party, whatever y'all want to call it. You could do a live shopping show on the internet and blow up out of the water. You could do a client mystery host reorder party. You could do a tabletop or a pop-up or a fundraiser or an office party. You could, I used to call it ding dong donuts. I know that's really geeky, but whatever. Take a dozen donuts and a basket of your products over to an office and say, here, enjoy these donuts, enjoy these products for a week. I'll be back this time next week to check in and see what you can't live without. Easy as pie, right? You could do an office party. You could do employee appreciation, set it up with the, um, the head of the office beforehand when you bring the donuts and <laughs> the basket um, and make it awesome. You can do a scroll and shop, which I'm living for using uh, Adobe Express to highlight the products that you want to highlight and get it out quickly to um, anybody in a text group. We can talk more about that later. It's pretty awesome. Um, you can do a multi-host party. You can do it on Messenger. You can do it on WhatsApp. You could pick a department and sell one product, sell 20 of one product in a week and call that a party. I'm running out of breath. It is all too much. <laughs> <laughs> but pick two of the things that you're going to do, commit to a day, commit to a time and commit to yourself that you're going to do the darn thing. Deal? That's right. Deal. <laughs> so we even came up with all your theme parties already. All right. Here they are. They're right out of your, your February brochure. We're not, we're, we're kind of creative, but let me tell you, Jeff is more creative. So you can pick some favorites. Maybe you go do a spa oasis creation party, teach them how to create their own spa oasis at home. 
Maybe you do instant result facials. Ooh, that sounds a little intriguing. Tell me more. Maybe it's oh, oh, oh so love sensational soiree. Or how about a love your body bash? So these are using the words right out of your February brochure. But people love a theme. They love to be like, ooh, I, tell me more. You want to describe your parties. You want to have fun with those parties. So we're going to stop really quick. And we're going to come back to you all. What types of events did you write down that you're most excited to host yourself, find a host for? So let's go back. We're going to take a beach stop. And we're going to come back and listen to you all. So let's hear open mic. What were some of the events that you decided you could host or take charge of in the next 30 days? Ready? On your mark, get set, participate. I would love, I just came from the doctor's office yesterday. I would love to bring a box of donuts because I used to work in a doctor's office for years and they didn't pay any attention to anything except for the donuts. And then I'll have a basket full of products <laughs> right there and then come back in a week. It's so non-threatening to the office staff and they'll say hey she remember she was here the other day she's really nice she brought all the products i love that idea i'm going to do that excellent excellent so when you do it leave a little recipe right jack so maybe you do a hand treatment with a little card this is like our love of the week for the doctor's office right and leave the recipe so they all are like did you try the recipe did you try the recipe right so again a basket of love drop love it with the donuts hey dunkin donuts was all over the super bowl commercials we love it it's hot and it's raging it's all i got okay cool love it thank you patty what else so who else fun. they're so shy are they all tired <laughs> are you guys tired from the super bowl that's just you only me I'm the only crazy person in the world here, but tell me, tell me more. What other events? What do you have planned? What did you hear? What did you like? What are you going to do? Let's go. Okay. I'm going to do um, a staff appreciation, self-love with a basket of love. And um, I've already got the buy-in from my County council uh, district representative. I saw her tonight, earlier tonight and I'm going to follow up with her tomorrow. Yay. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. One more, one more ready. Go. Well, mine, mine, mine is not on the list, but um, I'm out of the box, but I'm going to be delivering tomorrow to the staff of um, that. Everyone who touched me from the person who received me in the hospital to through the surgery and everything, I'm taking them um, a love basket of Jaffra for each one of them. It's nine of them. Someone out of that nine will become a consultant and others will become um, users. So that's what that's I'm going to do. They will. <laughs> we believe in that. We love it. All, All right. right. So yeah. take that calendar, plan out your events like we talked about. So we want to just finish a little bit about parties. All right. So Jackie, let's take us through. Okay. we Let's say we have a hostess. Okay. We know you can all do the droppings. But what mm. if you found some hostesses? I know when I went through all the products, you're all like, oh, I sell to everyone. I don't talk about how to get it at the best price. I know somebody out there thought that way. So go mm -hmm. through your client files. Write down everybody who buys what's in your hostess plan. Um, tell them you're earning a trip. Tell them you'd love to give them that at the best price this month. And that would help you with the trip. You want to help them get the best deal. And let's have some fun with friends. But we've got to coach the hostess. Your role is to get her to a $600 party so she leaves no deal left behind. So, Jack, what are some quick tips on how to hostess coach? I could talk about hostess coaching all day, as you know, but if I have to keep it brief, I think it's really important for a host to make her wish list, his or her wish list, so that you can see all the products that you could get for them through the hostess program. Um, I think that's super important for goal setting too. So they need to know if they need X amount for a $600 party, how many people do they need to invite? How many $100 orders is that? So I think that that is the first great step. Um, I love to talk about monthly uh, offers. I love to talk about their favorite products so that they can give some 
real life testimonials on products that they love. Um, and I really, really, really encourage outside ordering from a party. If somebody can't make it, make sure your hostess gets to work closing some outside orders so that she gets a taste of what it's like to be a Jaffer consultant. And maybe you can convert her um, after she's had her party and she falls in love with everything that, that Jaffer parties are, right? Um, I think it's so important to create your guest list so that you're able to reach out to folks and be connected to them um, so your host can give you access to those people. Um, and I think that it's really important, obviously, to use your memory jogger that we talked about earlier with your JAFRA. Um, I really love creating, if you're going to party online with people, creating some video that you can just share out really quick as hostess coaching um, so that you're able to duplicate and have multiple parties at once. So you don't always have to be making phone calls or sending text messages. You can just send off those videos um, to get your host and their guests excited. Okay. Um, I also love to be very intentional with my inviting and make sure that they RSVP. It's not only polite, it also helps you to get the party ready, especially if you're taking product um, to do demos somewhere. Um, and for every person that's invited that brings a couple of friends, they can have something for free. I think that's a great idea. Um, sharing your party toolkit, which is your website link, any extra brochures, any catalogs, any digital things that you want to share with them to um, to push the party forward. Make sure that you have all of that ready beforehand um, so that you're prepared when they ask for, for things, when, you, when they ask questions. Um, make sure to share the link for our Jaffra Take a Look so that they can see what it's like to be a consultant and take a little bit of that pressure off of you, right? Um, give the host some feature products from your brochure. I mean, you guys all know this. It's all really elementary stuff, but we often forget to do it. We often forget to guide folks through the process of being the host of a party. We are always tempted to say, you just bring the people and I'll do the rest. It's not it's not a great party unless your host is engaged, especially online. It is not going to be a successful party unless your host is just bought in and ready to party along with you. And finally, 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 my last tip is to work with your host up to the event. Check in every couple of days for RSVPs. Don't book them and forget them. Okay. Keep them engaged. Keep them working. Ask them questions. How can I make a better event for your guests? Are you working on outside orders? Hey, if you can get me uh, three more party bookings, I'll give you an extra gift. Anything that you can do to keep your host excited and the energy pumping before the party is going to make it extra awesome. Yeah. And you know, you can always have hostess baskets. If you're doing a local party, not online, or anything, if you make a hostess basket with that recipe or your fa her favorite products that she knows her guests will love, and she's taking them with her to work before the party, she's got extra brochures, she's got samples, she's got full-size recipe products and some kit flyers. Again, I think it's so key that you know her gifts, but you also want her to know yours. Two mm -hmm. bookings, someone who's going to join, and outside orders. So again, really important. If you love the basket idea, keep it simple. So we want to wrap up the party and come back to you all with any questions because we even put together what's, how do you do a party? What's the party outline? If you need additional training, go to Jaffa Virtual University and learn about some of the basics to this business. And here's the key to a party. You have a meet and greet where they get to know you. You get to know them. That's that handshake rule, right, Pat? Then yes. you have your opening story. And if you don't know how to make my story, it's in Jaffra Biz. So go on into your training and you can see there. You want to define your product experience. Like Jackie said, you got to know what you're going to pack your bags with. What are they going to experience? Because in the before, you want to tell them you're going to come to the party and here's what you're going to experience, what you're going to feel, what you're going to smell, what you're going to try, what you're going to love and what you're going to feel like. You're creating an experience that you're developing with your hostess. Do your friends like spa, skincare, 
What products do they typically use? What do you think they'd love most? Should we have them wear their bathrobes? Should we have them bring the cutest slippers? Should we have a flip-flop contest? What do we want? Do they like fun? What do they like for food? How do we do this? That product experience and party experience is what you're coaching in the party planner too. And then concierge checkout, helping them one-on-one -on -one get what they want, using that order form, asking the questions at the very end. If I see somebody's going to buy a Defy bundle, what are we going to do? I'm going to say, but wait, can I book it with you? Because there are ways to get it at a better price. So planning your demos, taking your full mm -hmm. catalog, taking your sale brochure. You have five departments in this business. We're going to be doing more of this on our Marketing Monday, so we won't spend time on it today. But we want to help at the beginning of the month. Mm -hmm. Pack your bags for parties. We're all about parties in 2024 because it's the demand of what people want from direct sellers. So do you have something to demo your skincare, your spa, your color, your fragrance, and your HR department? Yes, you're always giving people the gig. So you want to have everything ready because then, again, as you're demonstrating and you're talking about the Bs, the concierge checkout has five Bs. Are they interested in buying and saving with client prices today? You might even put bundles. Right now, I see a lot of Defy kind of in separate little packages. Put your own bundle together with all the deals. So they even get the neck and chest cream. They get the volcanic mask. There's a lot of things that you could bundle from today in the month of February. And so again, here's the buy, here's the bundle or your hostess bundle or your kit bundle. Then here's your booking. If you book today, I used to love taking a travel set because I love Defy, putting it at a placemat. And the first uh, three who book today can take Defy home free. So first three, get this free. You can start doing your face tonight. So they got to book it, Dano, with a date. So what is your way you're going to do bookings? And we're going to do more of that on Marketing Monday. Today, we wanted to talk about parties and we'll complete the other parts to the starfish recipe on more Marketing Mondays to come. Do they also, are they interested for them or someone they know in looking at beginning the Jaffa option, getting a kit and having a, a gig on the side? If they were to have one, what would that do for them? And do they know anyone who, re anyone who also really wants to build a business? I know there's a gig, but somebody really looking for a great change. So it's the five Bs and keeping that at hand all the time. So I'm going to come back to Jack because we want to wrap up our party segment tonight talking about the after party. Come on, bus driver, bring it back. The bus driver's here and we're pulling back into the station, okay? So ain't no party like an after party. And this is where we check the couch cushions for change. We shake the change out of our clothes, right? And we make sure that we give everybody the best service we can. So step one to a great after party is talk to the host about the party. Um, where are we with our bookings? Where are we with people ordering? She, she or he is your partner. Okay. Treat your host like your partner. What did they love about the party? What felt weird? Take the feedback so that you're able to grow um, and do your job better. And what else can we do together to close the party at our maximum amount in the next three days? Okay. Step two. Offer the opportunity as a host gift because you guys can keep the party going together forever. Um, do this for everyone, but also if you had like a really good time with a host, um, tell them that you want to be their friend forever. Uh, step three, thank everybody that invite that attended or ordered or booked or any combination of the three and asked for more join info. Um, give them the info that they want. Um, you want to upsell uh, at your party. So you want to give really awesome concierge checkout service at the end of, of your party um, and make sure that everybody gets followed up with and after two days uh, to make sure that they got everything that they needed, okay? Step four, contact anybody who didn't come, get your outside orders, make sure you do some virtual skin consults, virtual makeup try-ons with them, have fun with them, treat them like they were at the party, right? Um, you don't want them to miss out. Make sure that you uh, invite all of your Facebook group, <clears throat> oh, invite everyone, excuse me, to your Facebook group and get permission to add them to your email list. Um, 
of course, thank your hostess, obviously, and work that two, two, two model. Two days, two weeks, two months to success, success um, with amazing customer service. Okay. You guys Love it. Easy. So, oops, excuse me. We're going to end with this. Our mission tonight was let's party. So we know one thing. Jan and Frank Day built this party with one recipe. If you just hold two parties a week, you will earn everything there is in Jaffra. If anybody's been here a day or two, you know that's true. We know in direct sales today, everything you need to do starts with seeing more people. It can be online. It can be in person. It's based on your time and your specialty. And then booking events at every event. If you leave every tabletop, every party, every personal with bookings, that's success because your calendar has an endless stream. You can see we're going to be doing more on sponsoring. I'm going to tell you why Jackie and I love events. One in every two hostesses sponsor. If you held two events a week, you could sponsor four a month. That's called patterns of success in this business. And if everybody joined with a friend, that'd be eight a month. Again, how, I can't do two plus two plus two if I don't have any clients. So that's why we want to see people who bring us 30 to 50 names or they're doing a Facebook party with 500 people invited. So join us because we have two pla we have places you can bring people to hear about the opportunity. We want to help you make sponsoring easy. Bring them to next Tuesday, same place, same time, except 3.30 instead of four is for potential consultants. Four o'clock, we're going to teach you how to have even more when you grow your teams. So join us next Tuesday. It's our compensation compass day. All guests are welcome to both sessions. Okay. So we're going to make sponsoring easy. You just keep inviting. Okay. Mm -hmm. We also know, and we're not going to go through this because we have another training for you. We do know it's the number of people you invite three to five conversations a day with people to let them choose the B of their choice is the answer. We've done lots of training on who wants to join Jaffa today and their why, every age group and what they're looking for. You can have this deck. We'll put it in guide number one because we have another training coming up that will teach you all the things on who to sponsor, how to sponsor, the five steps to sponsoring, how do we really create a list all the time. It's all the tools Jaffa has in Jaffa Virtual University. Go there and you will learn how to sponsor. Use your virtual conversation guide right here and have places to invite people. Work with your manager today. Managers, just work your calendar to have places to invite people. All the training is already in Jaffa Virtual University, but we have a special edition. Sorry, we don't need all of that. Forgive me. That's even how to do a presentation. Oops, I'm clicking fast. There's my cheese again. Let me come back. <laughs> so here you go. On Marketing Monday, the 26th, we're going to get the Swiss cheese going here, man. At 9 a.m., your Marketing Monday, last one of February, we're going to do a whole session for the love of sponsoring and growing your teams, okay? You're going to hear from the best of the best, and we're going to dive into some of those things that we just talked about, okay? Today was parties. We'll take you to sponsoring, but trust me, you got all the training and all the guides you need. You don't have to wait to sponsor. Talk to your manager. Because these are the recipes that will lead you to everything. We will, again, coming up on another edition of training on Marketing Monday, do the more on the two plus two plus two, which equal success. We will bring you more customer care throughout all of this. Remember, we're doing this whole five-star recipe during the entire trip. So we challenge, we end with this, and then we're going to come back to the audience. We end with this. One challenge for every one of you. Okay, this is just your own challenge. Get Jaffra on 14 new faces between now and the end of this month. Consultants, partner up with your leader and make a plan to do it. Leaders do this. You could do 14 in one day. We were in California. We heard like $800 party for a brand new consultant, $858, $650 party, Sally Templeton, the night before our event. This is where you will see sales, sponsoring, and so many new clients. So get out and get Jaffra on faces. 
even if you send them a sachet card and do a virtual consultation, once it's right here, everything starts. And that's what we want for you all. So that ends our session tonight. We want to just hear before we step away. What did you all learn tonight? How many of you learned one new thing? What's your takeaway? Open your mic. We want to hear that gives us value to know what we spent our time on. Open your mic. What'd you learn tonight? Two plus two plus two. Let's go. Beautiful, Belinda. We love it. Thank you. What else? Belinda took mine, but two plus two and <laughs> learn. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So yes, we're going to post. I also see a question here. The 14 facial handout. We're going to post that. Um, leaders, you already have it in your email and you have it in WhatsApp. Consultants will post it as well in our Facebook later on tomorrow morning. So we've got that. What else did you learn? Go, a butt is a butt. <laughs> a butt is a butt. <laughs> a butt is a butt is a butt is a butt. We love that. That's awesome. We love that. Thank you. Go ahead, Dia. The virtual console. I don't use that enough. The virtual skin cult console. I was in the beginning and then I forgot. And so I, yes. I come up with a little plan, you know, if I can get someone to, uh, uh, you know, invite them to do it and have three of their friends do it, then I'll give them a gift if I get the results through an email or text, whatever. And then if there's any sales, I'll give them another gift. And then Excellent. and if there are high sales, then maybe they'll want the hostess gifts. Beautiful. So, we so. love it. We love it. Excellent. Very good. Anybody yeah. else? I like I the um, Oh, okay. Go ahead, Shafika. I'll take you and then I'll go to Patty. Okay. I just like the um, 14, 14 new faces here. As I said, I was going to just um, do that. I actually did a live event Monday at the, um, at the um, workout facility where I did the grand opening here. So I just booked, booked two parties tonight from that here and everything. So I'm just, I like the 14 faces of just getting that on as many new faces as possible here. So trust the product it'll happen so we love it we love the theme parties we love the donut ding dong donut drops right so that's awesome patty what were you gonna say i'm sorry jump start i i love that idea especially with a newbie and it builds such consistency with her plus jaffer floods them with these great products so it takes you know you call them and say who do you know that wants to be a jaffer consultant you know get you a buddy it gives you a real good, strong reason to call. And there's a big why for them, why they need to do this. Absolutely love it. And yes, Jackie brings donuts. It's not a joke. You Duncan. Don't up empty handed. Just no, bring them. The ding dong treat. donuts. It's real donuts. Hypnotize them with the sweet treat and then slide <laughs> the products in. <laughs> That's right. I used to host every, every single client's birthday party every month. And I brought the cupcakes, man. I'm telling you. Make food a part of it, right? So we thank you for tonight. Our power session is over, but we hope you see that what the world is looking for is you. Getting together with friends, having events, having parties, and donuts. Why not? Thank you so much for being here. We hope you learned something new because we're excited to see you again on Zoom. See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. The time.